Hello everyone. Uh, okay, so I'm back. You see, I'm level nine. This is uh, um, an area where you revive <laughs> because I die. <laughs> I die in my last mission, and this is a big problem. Uh, they don't explain that this number two means that it's recommended for two people. And I had tried uh, this, I will call it a dungeon, because it was uh, a close place, alone. And I die. At the final boss I die, because it was too much strong for one people. Um, so, as I advance a little bit, I earn title. For the moment I don't put them, I started to unlock power, like you see, you unlock them at level 6, and at uh, level 8, you start also earning some points to level up your skills. For example, I have uh, I've got 3 skills and I have uh, level up my uh, fire strike. I earn also an aura, which is uh, a passive uh, offensive for me. And I learn also, uh, sorry miss, but I can't finish this mission. Yeah, I have also, I've selected a flying skill. You will be able to select different uh, it's not in this uh, there is uh, yeah, you choose one of course, but there are ev several available, like uh, flying, running fast, teleporting, uh, etc. There is also vehicles. I got a limited steam bike. That is really fast. Interesting to go from one point to another. I uh, will show you a little bit of the map. So you see, it's a, it's a big map. I haven't. So uh, you have the auction house, the a bank, uh, crafting trainees. This was the dungeon that, for the moment, I won't go there anymore. Uh, the mission appears. You see, I've got two missions, so it appears on the map. You've got some onslaught target and agent. Uh, content seems interesting, really. Let me check PvP and instance. Social network, Socrates, the mission that I have which is not complete. Uh, the map. The overview. Okay, because I'm on the steam bike, the overview is the steam bike. <laughs> I. There are interesting things. Okay, the graphics. It's a mix between uh, shell cell shading and uh, original normal graphics so it can be surprising a little bit but it's it's not bad so I will try to do this mission where is the mission yeah you see, uh, if for example when you select the first one the uh, help of the uh, direction Okay, I can... Wow, this is good. I can go up with the steam bike. So I can avoid because it's an open map and uh, the enemies are non-stop. Um, yeah, the enemies are respawning not extraordinarily fast, but still. Okay, I need to put uh, uh, these guys. Oh, yeah. So, quick, quick, quick. 
<laughs> ah, this is good. <laughs> Uh, as it's a cryptic game, pre um, but that exists seems for a couple times already. I will maybe go on foot. Um, block enemies attack you need to use sh the shift key it's not really easy to to do always uh, this is a, uh, a mini boss I will call it but it's uh, already enough strong eh, don't you think So, uh, where is my exit? So I need to put back. Either I put back or you fight your way to and kill everyone. It's simple. So, I was saying, as it's a cryptic game for quite a time already, I believe that uh, no it's not I believe and want to use <laughs> bah, I discover glitch and bugs the uh, the game is uh, on the same system as Star Trek Online and never went up it's even uh, it's, it's close to Star Trek Online you have it's a free to play game but you have also a um, um, subscription possible monthly or a lifetime subscription which gives you uh, gold statues and uh, plenty of bonuses that's what I wanted to say so you have to select oh blue mm -hmm. the reward so, uh, I am a range character, so I don't need strength, I can use uh, dexterity, of course, uh, intelligence for the amount of power, and ego, so I need ego, 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 31 ego, so this one can be interesting, recovery, defense, offense, uh, tier 1 primary mom and cage, I don't need, MCPD recognition seems to be interesting because you can use them to specialize vendor but at the moment I need a, li need a little bit of better gears also so uh, equipped I know that there are some uh, sellers because they have loot plenty of stuff uh, okay, well, later. Uh, rescue scientist. Ah, I need to go down. You have noticed that there are few loots. 
It has always been like this in Cryptic's game. The loots are not the way to get uh, gears. Not the best way at all. So you will have mission outside, you will have mission inside. Lots of fight. And you are a hero. And like you see, uh, not easy fight at all. Because they target you uh, wherever you go. And you need to wait until you regen. Because like I've shown you in my um, new tune, I had uh, a healing device. But I've already used them all. So I need to buy a new one. Trying to get as close as possible to burn them. Okay, one scientist rescued. As they are using guns, wherever you go, even if you go upstairs, doesn't change nothing. They will target you. Uh, I've noticed also another bug. Look at my shoes. One shoe has uh, a bottom black and the other not. <laughs> I don't know how it has become like this, but. Towards simple enemies, the fight is not complicated. It's only when it, you start to fight big, big, big. Uh, Minibus. Oh, those are moving and it's not easy. In any case, it's the beginning of the game, so to be difficult at this time for some time, uh, for me it's not uh, a big problem. It shows you that you have to learn the game. And unfortunately, in my opinion, lots of MMORPG now, uh, developers are making uh, games too easy. The stars is bonus. You feel the bonus by uh, filling this uh, small bar down. the resources, the yellow resources that you got on the screen. You receive 8 resources. And after you fill in the stars. So we'll take my bonus damage. And where do they go? Oh, but it's over. Where is the exit? I will go here. So I've shown you a little bit of Champions Online Not yet level 10, my goodness Leveling is a little bit not... F oh, yeah, it's basics, I think uh, I don't know what is the max level It's the first time I see someone level 40 Zara is the equivalent of Guild, eh, of course. Super group, I think they are, call they are called. He wants me to keep this one in first place. It's boring. So, uh, like you can see, the game is uh, correct. Eh? It's not uh, a new game. It's a game that uh, exists for quite a time. Uh, it's the same... For me, it's the same system as uh, Star Trek Online. The skill bar, the chat, the position of the UE that maybe you can... I don't know. Doesn't seem you can uh, manage the chat, but not the... It's 
doesn't look like you can change um, the UE. Uh, like you can see, uh, there are not many people in Millennium City, eh? uh, 8, 9, and I am in the third. Uh, the third instance, so it's ba instance based like Neverwinter and Star Trek Online. It's a cryptic game with its good points and its uh, defaults. I will uh, try to keep leveling a little bit. Th what is interesting in this game is the character creation. It's uh, like in Star Trek Online, like in Neverwinter, uh, much more like in Star Trek Online. Uh, you can uh, customize uh, your character. It's uh, awesome what you can do like you see last thing that I want to show you so uh, show you the, the bike uh, at the moment it's a steam bike limited eh? uh, it's uh, I got it for uh, three hours of uh, using it uh, the, the Z store that you can buy uh, plenty of things with the vehicle, etc., etc. Uh, but I've just noticed something that I forgot. Yes, when you own a vehicle, I forgot to show it to you because I didn't remember myself. It's awesome, look at that. <laughs> and you can, uh, if I remember correctly, in the, um, in the introduction video that I had, uh, you can also uh, increase the power, the weapons type of your uh, vehicle. And this is a good feature. One last thing before ending this uh, introduction review. I just hit it level 10. Yeah! And uh, like in Star Trek Online and Neverwinter, there is a specialization tree. So you have your uh, skill level in the main window and at level 10 you got this skill tree with spec point. Uh, so at level 10 I've got one point that for me I put here. Re recovery increase your health. You see that you have three rank, two, etc. So you put point in it. 10 point for the first level, then 10 for the second, etc, etc. Another thing also that appeared at level 10, it's the red alert. Ah, sorry, it's uh, an habit of <laughs> Star Trek Online. Here it's an on alert. So if you click, you've got uh, an event that pop up. In this case it's bank robbery. Uh, a super villain and their minions are perpetrating a haste, stop them, reward its XP, uh, it's a Q. He, you see, it's, it, uh, it appears also in the Q list. And, but the rest, for now, I am only level 10, so I believe... Uh, yeah, you've got the PvP area, but for the other, you need to be a little bit higher level. Well, it was a review of... Oh, yeah, there is something that I forgot to show you. Like in Star Trek Online, you can play in RPG mode or in first-person mode. You see? It can be interesting for those. I will try to see if I can shoot an enemy. I want it on only one. So 
So, the only issue is that you don't see your arm. Which is not very, very extraordinary. Well, it was a review of Champions Online, free to play with a monthly subscription or lifetime subscription as your wish. You tried the game, you like it, you can invest, you don't like it, you delete it. <laughs> Easy. Thank you for watching, guys. See ya.